Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have our first engineering economics problem. And here we have a retirement fund example. So suppose that we have a retirement fund that earns 8% interest compounded quarterly. If $400 is deposited every three months for 25 years, what is the approximate amount in the fund at the end of the 25 years? And here we're given one of four choices, either $50,000, $75,000, $100,000, or $125,000. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to go ahead and solve this, um, you can turn to the FE Handbook where they'll give you some equations, but I didn't really find the FE Handbook all too helpful. I'll show you anyway. So here is the engineering economics section where we have the different values. F stands for future value. P stands for present value. A stands for it's the payment amount or sometimes if you get money back, the annuity. And G is what's called the uniform gradient. So you have all these equations and in, in this chart here that will given a certain value you can use to find the other but I had a really hard time using this chart and normally what I do is I commit to memory two formulas one for translating future value and present value and one that translates future value and the annuity amount or the payment amount and since I didn't really understand how to go about using these formulas here, I went ahead and I used the formulas that I have committed to memory, and that's that's how we're going to do it. So let's switch colors here. So the two formulas that I memorize when I deal with any engineering economic problem is the formula for future value. So I'm going to denote it as FV instead of F. And so future value is equal to the present value, 1 plus interest over n, nt. So given some present value, we can determine the future value some t number of years into the future with an interest rate i, and n is the number of compounds per year. So if T is in years, N is the number of compounds per year, I is the interest rate. And that is also equal to A, 1 plus I over N, NT minus 1 divided by I divided by N. And this time... A is just the payment amount. So if you are, like in this case, we are depositing $400 every three months for 25 years. So A would be your $400 in this case. So with these two formulas, I have related future value to present value to the payment amount to interest. And now I can solve for any one of these quantities and, and derive them as need be all except for interest. So the FE handbook does have some interest tables. It's not very trivial to derive interest, the interest I from these equations. You get a lot of complicated series, and so it's not, not very trivial. So there are charts in the FE handbook that are going to be useful when you need to derive interest. But for this, we only need the future value. And so all we have to do is plug it into this second equation here. And that's what we're going to do. So the payment amount is 400. And it is deposited quarterly, so every three months. 1 plus the interest rate is 8%, 0 0.08, divided by the number of compounds per year. So the number of compounds per year is every three months. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now all of that raised to the power nt. So that's 4 times t, the number of years, is 25. 
minus 1. And now we divide all of that by the interest rate divided by 4, which is the number of compounds. And going back to the FE handbook, this, what I just wrote down here, is analogous to this one here. So you have the, they call it the uniform series compound amount. I guess that's the technical name for it. But given some payment amount A, you can find F using this equation here, which is what I wrote down, only they, they don't divide I by the number of compounds and they don't include the number of years T. So judging here, this gives you F over A. But I feel like something's missing in this uh, in this chart, so I, I didn't use it and plug it into to that chart alone yielded the wrong answer. And so I wasn't too comfortable with it, so I went with what I knew. And so going back, when I plug in all the values here, I get 124,892,92. So 124,892 dollars and 92 cents and that's closest to D here so that is the exact amount that is the uh, the answer here 125,000 is the approximate amount and so what that says is if I were to contribute $400 every three months for 25 years and that money that I can that I contributed to this retirement account compounded at an 8% interest and it compounded quarterly, then I would have about $125,000 in that account at the end of the 25 years. So I hope that makes sense. If anything was unclear, please let me know. Please leave a comment below and we'll be sure to, to look into it some more. Again, I, I didn't really like the formulas given in the FE handbook. I didn't think they were clear. So I just happened to have memorized these two these two formulas here and from there I can I can derive any quantity that I need and usually in, in these types of problems they're they're going to be looking for future value of money so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video until then enjoy engineering